Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks. Today, the Hungry Gamer is back with another playthrough. And today, we are doing a solo playthrough of Mining Colony from Dr. Finn's Games. Now, if you want a basic on how the game is played, you can check out my preview video and I go over some of the basics there. What I will do right now is kind of go over the differences between the normal game and the solo mode. In the solo mode, you are still going to set up for two players the exact same amount of resources, and everything's going to be the same for you with the following exceptions. When you're bidding with your three cards, the AI will then, after you've chosen your card, will flip a single card. And then if you have lost to that, then the AI, who is called Zorlord, will select first. If the number they drew was even, they'll take number two. If the number they drew was odd, they will take number one. And it's just that simple. In addition to that, they will take any resources that they've collected and it will get put over to the side. And you'll be able to actually purchase those if you so choose. And depending on how hard of a game you're playing, it changes the cost of the resource. Since I have yet to actually beat Zorlord, I'm going to go on easy, which means it'll be one credit for one resource, whatever it may be. The tiles just get discarded. The other difference is your win condition. Rather than there being a score you're trying to beat to win the game, you have to fill up your entire board and build all of the different types of buildings. So the three outposts and the four science stations. Now, I'm not going to use the super easy mode, which would be the build over tokens are free, which if I continue uh, losing, then I probably will try that at some point. But I've already got it set up for the beginning of the game. I will take this and I will shuffle that back in. I am clearly green and Zorlord is red. And I have all my resources over here. I just moved them off the board so it's a little easier for us to see what's going on and I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so one of the things that I've found as I've played through is I never fill this thing up. So I really want to start out big and get this one up here to try to fill out my space as fast as I can. So here are my three options. And so here's the, the, the challenge is I, I definitely don't want to risk not filling everything up. Because it seems to me it's easier to build the buildings than it is to fill this thing up. And I know using the larger ones are definitely harder later. But of course, I don't know what Zorlord's gonna have there. And it might be an even number that goes to that one anyway. But I think I can't risk it. So I'm gonna play my 38 and I'm gonna put these on the bottom. And so we already got a 23. So I will go and discard that. And I will discard mine. Zorlord now has one yellow and I get these two. For the moment, I'm gonna put them in my staging area. And let's see. Now I have a lot of options here. And I think, gosh, it's really hard to, now I think maybe if I do that, all I need is two greens. I can buy one, two build overs, and that might fix that. But then I'm leaving this gap here. I don't like leaving a gap. So either way, it looks like I'd have to get two build overs to get a second thing set up. So I think I'm gonna do this, and I'll go for that yellow one. And next we have a blue ship and a red worker to go along with one of these. And another big one, ooh, that second big one is tempting because that would let me fill out a lot, a whole lot. Ooh, well, let's see what I got. An 11, a three, and a six. So I have crummy numbers. I'm probably gonna lose this anyway, so I'm just gonna play the three. And I'm okay with getting either one of those. So we'll see what happens. 34, so I would have lost no matter what. And it's an even number, so it's taking the big one. Just kind of a bummer, I kind of wanted that, but I will live. Okay, so I'm gonna put this worker here, and I'm gonna go ahead and sell 
sell this guy because I don't really have any good use for two blue ships. And unfortunately, this is not particularly helpful to me. So I'm just gonna put this there. And again, I'll be doing more building over later, but I'm not gonna do that yet. All right, here we go. Now this is a totally different strategy than I've ever attempted before. And I'm hoping that it's going to pay off here for me because I find beating Zorlord to be really hard. So really what I'm doing is my focus here is I'm trying to make sure I fill this up and then worry about filling the gaps later. So in this case, I don't really care about either one really, though it would be nice to get these two pieces, but I don't care that much. So I'm going to use my lowest of these three, my 27. And wouldn't have mattered. He takes the top one, no matter what. And I get the bottom. So now I'm definitely going to have to use some of my stuff to make this work. So I think I place this here. Then I'm going to use my one credit here and buy a build over right here. And then I will place a ship and a worker, which gives me my first outpost. And then I'm just going to hold on here. When I get another credit, I'll be able to do the same thing over there with the blue. All right. Ooh, and another purple. That's good. So I th yeah, so I definitely want this top one there. I'm going to go hard for that. So this isn't horrible, but I think that big one, I want that purple, then I'll be able to do a crystal perhaps. Ooh, 46, 43, and 14. I'm going to go with the 43. Keep these other two. Oh my gosh. Well, I would have lost anyway. So I blew my one of my big ones and it claimed the one that I wanted. So that really is a bummer. That's a real big bummer. But what I can do at least is I can do this and that will save me a credit that I was going to have to spend on a build over. And that gives me my second outpost. Yeah. And now he has another purple and two yellow. So if I get some credits, I'll be able to pick some of those up. All right. Ooh, well, small space, but some good colors here. All right, so either of these is okay, I think. In some ways, this is almost better because then I can fill in that gap. I don't have to rely on getting a one with a thing sticking out, but let's, let's see what I got. All right, so again, I can work with either of these, so I'm gonna use my low number and just kind of call that out in my deck. And I'm assuming, oh yeah, 31, way higher. So he's going to claim that. And I get all these toys here. This clearly putting right there. And first, I'm definitely going to sell that for a credit. I'm going to spend my credit for a build over. I'm going to change this one to an any color for one and two. And that will give me my purple research. I'll put that up there. Okay, I'm feeling like I might be able to do this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, another small guy. I definitely don't want that top one. That top one's terrible. So I'm definitely, I'm gonna go as big as I can, I think, for this, because that has a lot of stuff that I need. 11, 35, 30. I'm gonna blow my 35. And yes, 26. Good. So I got what I wanted and he's got all the yellows. I'm eventually I'm going to have to start getting some crystals here. Okay. I think by doing that, so that kind of opens me up. Ooh. So I'm going to sell this guy, give myself a single credit. Then I'm going to, oh, I can't quite do what I want. I'm going to put this one here and eventually I'm going to try to get another one there. Then I'm going to cover that one and go two whites is my plan. Okay. 
And I need that white. I don't need the greens. So that would just be straight up money for me. I don't need the purple. So I don't think this one matters too much, which one I get. So I'm gonna go low. And I'm gonna play that 14. I'm gonna go low, hold on to my higher ones for when I really might need them. Wow, 15, he just barely took it from me. Okay, so I'm immediately gonna sell this. I don't have any use for that. Put this here. I think I'm gonna do this. I might be putting myself in a bad space to get that black outpost, but I think I'm gonna be able to do it if I do it like this. Put that there. Take my second and put it that there. Boom and boom. And if I, oh, if I just get one more credit. Yeah, for two credits, I'll be able to place this here, put a build over there and grab him. Oh, I, I might, I just might be able to do this. Maybe, 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 maybe. I think I need the big one because I'll be able to get a little money from it, fill up a lot of space. Yeah, this is my plan. I, I'm definitely gonna try to just fill up then use money to fix everything else. Oof, not great. I'm gonna use the 30 because I want that big one for sure. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I could have used any of them. Dang it. And it was a two, so it would have taken that anyway. But that's okay. I think this is going to work because by placing that there, then I place this here. I need that. I'm gonna sell this ship here for one credit, which I'm immediately gonna use to buy that crystal. Oh, wait, nope, I need a, no, I don't, there we go. Buy that crystal, which places that. So here we are, here is the challenge that I have is I need to get very specific. I need two twos and a single is the only way I can do this. The only chance I have, I have to get that one up there. So here we go. I'm gonna go with my 46. And seven. So I click this one. He gets that guy. And I'm selling all three of these for three credits. Then I'm going to use one to purchase that for one and two and that research station. Then I'm going to spend another one for that. And my third one to buy one of his white crystals. And then my last three, I have to get the small one. I'll use my 22. Which beats him. Put that there. Put that there. And that is it. Well, so there you have it, folks. So as you see, I ran out of time. I had two spaces left to cover. I'll say this is the best that I've done. It's definitely a bit of a learning experience here. As I now see that, yeah, the, the plan really does have to be filling up your board with developed spaces and then everything else is kind of secondary. It seems like that is the plan. If you're going to beat the solo mode, it's interesting. So, wow, that's really tough. It's really tough to kind of figure out what it is that you have to what purchases you have to make in order to make that work out. But in any event, that is it. That is a solo play on easy, not super easy, but on easy of mining colony. Unfortunately, Zorlord now, I guess, rules all of Mars or wherever it is and has exclusive rights to all the mining. And I'm sure they're going to be horrible and evil. It'll be like the Comcast of interplanetary mining or something like that. And there you have it, folks. That was Mining Colony. Gosh, I really enjoyed that. That was, it really is a fun solo experience, even though I still can't win. And I, I will say, I'm very happy to point out that all, all the games I've done solo plays for, of games that aren't necessarily made as a solo game, I have never won on camera. So I'm very glad that I was able to keep that going, that, that streak alive here. In any event, 
I hope this helps you figure out if you are interested in this game for solo play. As always, if I messed anything up as I went through, please leave me a comment with a timestamp and I'll get that into the Klingon subtitles. There will also be a link down in the description that will guide you to the preview that I did for this game, as well as how you can either sign up to be on the email list or how you can back the game yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.